Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into some critical updates from Iraq regarding the nation's ongoing economic reforms and efforts to stabilize its financial situation. Recent reports, particularly from analysts like Firefly, have highlighted important developments in Iraq's economic land escape. A notable figure in Iraq's economic leadership, Mr. Als Al, recently made a televised address where he discussed transformative changes to the country's monetary and financial systems. He emphasized that these reforms are designed to elevate Iraq's standing in the global financial arena, facilitating international acceptance of the Iraqi dinar and stabilizing its value a key concern for both domestic citizens and foreign investors. Sal's comments have sparked considerable speculation. Many observers interpret his remarks as a potential signal that Iraq may soon introduce a new exchange rate for the dinar. To appreciate the significance of these developments, it's essential to understand the broader context of Iraq's economic challenges. The country has faced years of instability due to political unrest, regional conflicts, and an over-reliance on oil revenues. These factors have severely hampered Iraq's ability to integrate fully into the global financial system, making it difficult to attract the international trade and investment necessary for sustained growth. The Iraqi dinar, as the nation's currency, has been particularly affected. It has experienced significant fluctuations in value and faced various restrictions in the global market. This instability has bred uncertainty for Iraqis especially those engaged in international business, and has made the dinar less appealing to foreign investors. The demand for meaningful economic reforms, particularly those that could stabilize the currency and potentially increase its value, has been mounting for years. In this context, Sal's recent statements are particularly significant. They indicate that major shifts in Iraq's economic policy may be on the horizon. When he refers to a new monetary and financial system, he likely alludes to reforms aimed at modernizing Iraq's banking system and improving the country's financial infrastructure. Central to these changes is the potential revaluation of the dinar, a topic that has long been the subject of speculation. One of the most critical aspects of Sal's remarks is his emphasis on international acceptance. This suggests that Iraq is not only focused on internal reforms but is also looking outward, aiming to position the dinar more effectively in the global financial land escape. Achieving international acceptance would allow the dinar to function better in global trade and investment, aligning its value with international standards. This would simplify processes for foreign investors, making Iraq a more attractive destination for business while also enhancing the country's ability to engage in global trade on favorable terms. The prospect of a stable, internationally accepted dinar could indeed be a game-changer for Iraq. It would not only boost investor confidence but also empower local businesses that have struggled with currency unpredictability. A new exchange rate reflecting Iraq's true economic potential could create a ripple effect throughout the economy, encouraging investment boosting employment, and fostering overall growth. However, while Sal's statements are encouraging, it's essential to approach the situation with cautious optimism. Iraq has experienced numerous delays and setbacks in its reform efforts due to political instability and bureaucratic challenges. Therefore, while the prospect of a new exchange rate is exciting, the timeline for its implementation remains uncertain. As we move forward, all eyes will be on the Iraqi government and the Central Bank of Iraq as they navigate this complex landscape. The international community will also be observing closely, as Iraq's success in stabilizing its currency could have significant implications not just for the nation itself but for the broader region. Sal's announcement marks a potentially transformative moment for Iraq's economy. The introduction of a new exchange rate for the Iraqi dinar, coupled with comprehensive financial reforms, could significantly enhance Iraq's global standing. However, much work remains to be done to ensure these reforms are implemented effectively and in a timely manner. For now, 
the people of Iraq and international investors await the next steps in this groundbreaking process. Stay tuned for more updates, and thank you for watching.